Best Dressed Blonde Bombshell Kim Kardashian rules the Met Gala red carpet in Marilyn Monroe's $5 million dress alongside Blake Lively and Cardi B. As Hollywood stars shine bright in, gilded glamour, at fashion's biggest night of the year the Metropolitan Museum of Art Costume Institute Benefit, also known as the Met Gala, is considered by many as the Super Bowl of Celebrity Red Carpets The glamorous event took place on Monday, May 2 in the Upper East Side neighborhood in New York City This year's dress code is, Gilded Glamour, to match the theme of, In America, an anthology of fashion, a continuation of last year's, In America, a lexicon of fashion, Kim Kardashian transformed into movie legend Marilyn Monroe for the glamorous event, as she arrived in the late star's $5 million gown she wore in 1962 to wish President John F. Kennedy a happy birthday. After weeks of speculation, the 41-year-old billionaire arrived wearing the iconic gown, complete with newly dyed platinum blonde hair. While walking on the red carpet with boyfriend Pete Davidson, Kim revealed that she had to lose 16 pounds to fit into the dress, opting to forego carbs and sugar for three weeks. Blake Lively also stunned on the carpet, rocking a pink gown that transformed to blue, with the dress and jewelry inspired by New York City architecture while Cardi B glittered in a gold gown with statement gloves. Kim made history by being the only person besides Marilyn to ever wear the iconic dress in the 40 years since it was created. This is Marilyn Monroe's dress. It's 60 years old. I had this idea to put it on and try it on. They came with armed guards and gloves. I tried it on and it didn't fit me. I had to lose 16 pounds, she said on the red carpet. I was determined to fit it. I did it. Adding that she hasn't eaten carbs or sugar for three weeks and also dyed her hair blonde. For weeks, fans speculated that Kim was going to wear Marilyn Monroe's $5 million gown she wore when she sang Happy Birthday Mr. President to John F. Kennedy for his 45th birthday on May 19, 1962. The dress was based on a sketch by Bob Mackie for the costume designer Jean Louis. The translucent gown features over 6,000 crystals. Marilyn reportedly paid $1,440 for the custom piece and in 1999, her estate sold it at an auction for over $1 million, per Vogue. It changed hands again when it sold it 2016 for $4.8 million before Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum acquired it. Per the outlet, the dress sits on a muslin-covered dress form at the museum in a darkened vault at a controlled temperature of 68 degrees with 40 to 50 percent humidity. Last month, she was photographed leaving Ripley's Museum in Orlando where the dress is housed, leading fans to believe she was going to wear it. During the premiere of The Kardashians last month, she revealed that she has to might not go because she has to fit in the dress since it cannot be altered. In an interview with Vogue, Kim told the magazine that the idea came last fall at last year's Met Gala. The idea really came to me after the gala in September last year. I thought to myself, what would I have done for the American theme if it not had been the Balenciaga look? What's the most American theme you can think of? And that's Marilyn Monroe, she said to Vogue. Nowadays everyone wears sheer dresses, but back then that was not the case. In a sense, it's the original naked dress. That's why it's so shocking, she said to the magazine. Before the museum allowed Kim to borrow the piece, they let her try a replica which fit, the next step was the original gown getting flown to California from Florida for her to try on. After the dress arrived with guards, she tried it on with gloves for the first time, and it did not fit. I always thought she was extremely curvy. I imagined I might be smaller in some places where she was bigger and bigger in some places where she was smaller. So when it didn't fit me I wanted to cry because it can't be altered at all, she said to Vogue. She went on a strict diet of no carbs and no sugar while running on the treadmill and wearing a sauna suit twice a day.